Hey, this is Cynthia Maynard, and I hope you are doing well today. I have this nice birthday card, kind of soft and elegant. It's got a lot of Wink of Stella on different parts of it. And you open it up, it's got the cakes with the Wink of Stella, Wink of Stella and then birthday wishes. So kind of a fun fold card there. And it's utilizing the stamp set's Celebration Times, which has these framelits that go with it. And we're just going to use the little flower from there, but uh, you could use whatever flower if you don't have that. But it's a fun stamp set with lots of um, cakey things, and it's got great framelits that cut out the cakes and tags and bows and candles and all sorts of fun stuff. Then there's Happiest of Days, which is super elegant font. I love that. And uh, two great stamp sets. But we're going to go ahead and use those. And we're going to make different colors. This is a Pear Pizzazz. Sahara Sand and Very Vanilla and for this card we're going to use Crumb Cake, Wisteria Wonder and Whisper White just for a little option that's different. So our base so to speak is um, this piece here and this is cut at six and a quarter by five and a half so on the six and a quarter side we want to go ahead and score at two. Okay, like that. And then the Wisteria Wonder is cut to eight by five and a quarter. And this we're going to score right in half at four. Okay. Like that. And that's going to fit inside the card like that. And that's what helps it to open up backwards like that. Then we have the matching, um, some matting here. We have a piece of Whisper White to go on the inside and that is cut to three and three quarters by five. And then we have two crumb cakes that are three by three and a half. And then the matting pieces for that is two, what is it, two and three quarters by three and a quarter. So we're just going to go ahead, we have our scoring done, so we're just going to put that away. First thing we can do is go ahead and put this card down. So because it's opening backwards, you want to put uh, this back flap is the part that's going to get glued. So go ahead and do that right from the get-go. Help us start to visualize our card. If that helps you to close it up to get it lined up, then that might be something to do there. Sorry about my black pinky. So we're going to need a few stamp sets out. For the panel that goes in the middle here, we're going to go ahead and use the birthday wishes and then these, um, so that's both from this stamp set here. Make sure that's inked up really well. And kind of in the middle, maybe a tiny bit up, but not by much. Okay, those are going to be in the same color there and they're just going to be toward the bottom here. So for the front panel we're going to use It's Your Birthday or you can use Z Cake or whatever but and I'm also going to need this banner out. It's Your Birthday. It's going to be there. And also need, I um, almost forgot, these little squirty candles squirty candles, <laughs> swirly candles, whatever you want to call them there. A little topper. Just going to line that up. Go like that. And then our banner. So what I did was, we have to do a little stamping off here. Take a scrap of paper underneath here. Um, we're kind of picking a focal point and that's where our banners are all going to come from. So a little one there. And then same point up here, but slightly downward so that they converge. And then we're going to turn it this way and go across the top. Okay, so they all come to that single point. This elegant little cake here. And we're also going to need this rose, so. Card of many stamps, but that's fun, right? We like to stamp. Okay, so for the panel, that's going on this inside part here. We're using this cake and we're kind of just making like a little cakey pattern that's kind of random. So I kind of start over here and then there, maybe in the corner. So 
So varying degrees of visual on that. Rows for uh, the front part of our card here. So we are going to do some stamping off on that. So we're going to bring our card base in here. Um, you can use a scrap piece of paper to kind of butt up against that score line so you don't go stamping over it. And I'm going to use crumb cake for that because we want a tone on tone look for that particular one. Make sure that's nice and lined up. And then I'm just kind of turning turning different ways. Okay. All right. And then it's just a matter of putting that together. Um, we're going to go ahead and mat our pieces here. Easiest one to know where it goes, right? So right there in the middle, and close your card up, and then this one's going to go here. And wherever you put this one, your front one is going to line up on top of that, like that. So it's easier to put this one down first. That. All right, so our, for our front one, we just want to make sure that we only put adhesive on this side, first of all. <laughs> and then we want to line up exactly with the one that we already glued down. That way we're able to open it without sticking it down, if that makes sense. And on my thing here. All right, so there you have it. All you have to do now is add our little flower and some Winkastella. So I'm going to do the Winkastella first. And we do it on our stripes here. Just kind of add that in. And then you're going to need to give that time to dry or it'll smudge. I have a hard time seeing because my eyes are <laughs> getting into that trombone era. just gives a little extra something. You can also go in on the bottoms of these little trays here. I went ahead and I did the flower and leaf. And then I did the little dots. Drapes on the presents. Okay, that just gives a little extra glimmer. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but in person, it, you know, Winka Stella gives that little, little something, something. And then we want to cut out our die cut from our set here, and we will go ahead and put that on. So you want to do that in the Wisteria Wonder. All right, so cute. And then we could just put that on glue dots. Just we don't want to. Or you could use your fine tip glue applicator. That would work great. Okay, and that just goes like that. So it just kind of gathers it up. And then our Wink of Stella right in the center, or you could put a rhinestone, um, or what have you there. And that's all there is to it. So let me bring the other one back in here. This is the drawing of it here. Pretty. And like that. You like that? I don't know which one do you like better, the green or the wisteria wonder? Probably the purple. Most people like purple, but uh, I liked. I don't know. I like. I like both. Both of them myself, and it's just fun to kind of people open up a card and think, oh, oh, that's fun. And then there's room to write notes and things as well. So and that fits into an A2 size card envelope. So um, yeah. All right, guys, go ahead and give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my uh, channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks. Have a creative day.